just like look at him like, what? <laughs> and now we're going to Savage C. Let's see how this work plays out for both these two. Yeah, I mean, like, doing the famous Einstein quote, like, if something, like, repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result is a definition of insanity. So if you're not working with your floaty characters, you've tried three different floaty characters, try an aggressive character and see if you're able to really penetrate this uh, defense. Yeah. Of course, like we said before, Atsushi in loser, Zeno in winner's side. Let's see how this plays out first. Immediately, Zeno going to the T. does not care about the Bengals. All right, both of these two in the green now. We got ourselves a match Ooh, here already on the first clutch. point. Big opportunity goes for the top spin. Let's see what the point is. Goes for the flat. Oh, perfect perfect trick, in. yes. Very important. Big loss is putting him back at the baseline, but Zeno already immediately going back to the T as soon as he has time to see him go for the lob there. So this Shaggy is playing very similar to the way his Luma was. Um, a lot of like lobs put uh, Zeno back in position as well as OSing in order to get all these perfect tricks. And so it seems to be working out for him. But the nice thing about Shy Guy is Shy Guy also has additional angles. So we'll see if this gives him an opportunity to score. Yeah. This seems to be a point for Zeno. Let's see what it does, though. I mean, only a third of a meter. Not easy to come back from that. If he gets a perfect block, maybe? No. Try to go for a raw block. Didn't quite work there. Yeah. It's a 50-50 because sometimes players will shoot it directly at you. Um, just like neutralizing any possibility of returning it with your trick shot. As you see there, like actually both players are doing this quite a bit. You see how he's hitting it into the middle? Uh, he's doing it into the middle to see if he can just try to dead zone a trick shot. Yeah. Alright, Flat comes in, another special. Again, only a third meter available for Atsushi. Yeah, <laughs> no way you can make he's that. He's so angle. far out of position, yeah. Zeno's just so good at building up the meter and using, finding the right opportunity to both keep it and use it for yeah. the special shot to get these guaranteed points, basically. I don't think Zeno's lunged once yet. And that's like, lunges are a huge opportunity for the other player to like build meter. Oh, there's his first one, I think. Or maybe his second one. But just still rarely ever lunging. Oh, the log comes in. No meter available for Atsushi. Let's see if it does. Goes oh. for the flat. Potentially big angle. Drop shot comes in. He goes Ooh. for the front trick. But that's going to be a big lob. Goes for the overhead. That's 3-0 on the point scale so far for Zeno. Wow. Goes immediately for the special again. Let's see if we can make this a 4-0. Zeno, looking like he's trying to speed run at sushi right here. Definitely. <laughs> in grand finals. I think it's actually really smart to special once you have the opportunity. Because, like, you're basically just saying, like, the, my opponent is so good that I'm not just going to allow him to build meter. I'm just going to take my point and then, like, continue to play on from there. Another special opportunity, probably potentially a lunge or something. Yep, there we go. Another special shot. And he's only down to the third meter again just from Atsushi trying to catch up to the ball. But Zeno is able to read it and push himself at the net. Gets the perfect block, though, but doesn't get anything out of it. Bad positioning and another overhead, bringing it 5-0. That was really smart by Atsushi, though, like using a little bit of meter to see where the ball was going and just uh, moving up a little bit so he had enough room so that his uh, trick shot wouldn't dead shot. Gets a lob. Okay, Zeno tried to push himself to see if he could get potentially another special shot. He was high in the meter. Front trick comes in, and he doesn't get there in time. Change card. It's just so insane because like Atsushi really schooled the best of the NA. And now Zeno is just potentially doing a bagel on him here. So just insane uh, how Zeno is able to play this game. Yeah. Perfect trick comes in. There we go. Down the middle. Gets that back trick and a special shot. All right, let's see what Atsushi tries to do for game two. He's really far back. I don't think he's going to be able to reach it. Yeah, that's bad angle. Not going to be able to get that. Zeno with the bagel. <laughs> But I like Atsushi being willing to mix it up. Uh, you can tell that he's not comfortable playing uh, non-floaty characters. Because like non-floaty characters are very different. You're not able to charge before moving. You have to like move and react and just be a lot quicker. So I'd be amazed if he doesn't go a floaty this time. Yeah. <laughs> Atsushi Prey, you can do it. Like going back to yeah, the going Rosalina. Back to Rosalina. Rosalina on clay, probably. Clay or Basque. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can ban both of them. We'll just have to see. Okay, goes Luma. No Luma, okay. And we're going on hard, okay. Yeah, because you, um, you can ban two um, courts as the winner. 
So you probably banned the two slowest, Basque and Clay. Right. Okay, here we go. Getting some nice angles so far, but Dino comfortable at T. Gets a little bit of room to get, gain a little bit more meter. That's the first charge we're going to see wow. from Dino. Oh, Zero. the net assist too. That wasn't really necessary. I think that drop shot would have been able to do yeah. it. Yeah, Azushi wasn't how, going for it. Yeah, yeah it's just not based on how far back he was. That's really the power of these like fully charged slices. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, he went for it anyway. Uh, he saw the lob. I guess he didn't want to risk anything. Goes for the hard angle here. Gets that block. I see if nothing else like. He's able to build a little bit of momentum, so... Yeah. Wow. Reacted immediately to that topspin. Got the slice out. They canceled a knockback on that star shot. Oh. That's what we've been seeing over and over again today. Just this mix-up of going down the middle to dead shot the uh, special shot. Yeah, that time so. it was Zeno doing it. We saw Atsushi doing it to Jake three times in a row. But here we go. Drop shot comes in. Goes for the lob. Gonna get a slice and a perfect trick out of it. Yeah, we're doing it again. Over and over and over again. It's a really interesting thing in the meta, because I've never really thought about going... Most people try to go down the sideline, because that's where the character isn't, but actually hitting it towards the character in the middle just a dead shot, the, uh, the trick shot. Yeah. Very interesting strategy. Zeno with full meter. Let's we'll see if he tries to move up. Oh, actually goes for the side trick this time around. He still has full meter, so probably just going to be fine. Trying to push advantage real soon. And this time, Atsushi's trying to do it to Zeno. He's going to have a very good angle on this, so he should be able to score, but we'll see. Oh, oh yeah. unfortunate. Missed trick block. Yeah, he had the zone speed, and he tried to get the right timing on it. Didn't quite work out there. The trick blocks are very, very tight, so they're a very um, precise thing to be able to do. Interesting. Oh, oh, one okay. more time. Yeah, I tried to go for, it looked like front trick or something, but it just went behind him. It's an option select, but like, I'm, I've never seen an option select dead shot like that. He's been like dead shotting a lot of option select, which is interesting. A draw shot? That's also a very technical thing. Going back on lobs, not using any energy. Oh, this is not going to be a good angle. The Tossman was already past him, so I think if Zeno has enough time, they, yeah, it should be okay for him. Yeah, gets the block, forces out a lot of I meter. Mean, oh, it was a drop shot. Is he going for enough? it? Yeah, he has enough. Yeah, just barely though. But, yeah. Yeah, but now they're both reset to low meter. Goes for the overhead. For it, yeah. it actually went close to Atsushi, but he just gave it to him. Yeah, because it's actually much less than a 50-50. It's like maybe a 10% chance you return it and keep yourself in the point. So, with those odds, it's not really worth going for it most of the yeah. time. But still, just really intelligent play not going for it. Zeno with a very slight meter lead. Goes for the overhead. That forces out a trick shot. Once more. Ooh. Three times over, but that time gets a special. Oh, very nice. This is impenetrable defense by Zeno. Just never using any energy. Just always putting up full pressure. Always using the correct shot options. Yeah. Just seems completely unstoppable. Zeno putting it down together. Potentially 6-1. Better than the bagel, but still not looking too good. That's yeah, special. That should probably be the next point. Only yeah, the Luma's in hit stun and really far away. So yeah, yeah he's <laughs> gonna meme it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. 2-0 lead. 2-0. Potentially looking like Zeno's just gonna 3-0, 2-0 everyone in this bracket today. Yeah, definitely. No one's taking a single game off Zeno. People have barely taken points off Zeno, so. Yeah, Atsushi's the closest one, and they play a lot together, so. Yeah, definitely. That, that's, good. that's a big consideration to take as well. Atsushi definitely thinking about where he's gonna be going next, and what character he's gonna be playing. <laughs> you can see they're laughing a little bit, having a good time, so yeah. it's good to see they're having fun. <laughs> They are having fun. I think that's the first time I've seen Zeno smile today. <laughs> I feel like he's been kind of nervous. Uh, I mean, he's got three th different things going against him. Language barrier. Uh, uh, what is it? The tournament nerves and uh, just yeah. being shy. So definitely, that's uh, something to consider. But are we seeing the Daisy potential? We're, we're pulling out the Pelu simulator. 
I don't know, man. But yeah, I mean, like, one of the top players in NA before he uh, went to go play Smash is. Oh, he's not going to go, Daisy. He's going to Luma. Okay. Never mind. We won't talk about Daisy. Okay. But Daisy, Daisy Luigi is probably pretty even. We'll have to say, but going to Luma. Going to Grass this time. Oh, Grass is really hard. I guess he's just wanting something super aggressive to try to penetrate the defense, but Grass is just really hard for Luma. We'll see how this goes here. As you can see, the ball goes really fast, so yeah, gonna have a not much time to be able to get those charges in. But maybe that's what he's looking for specifically. Yeah, Grass really favors the player who's just better at this game, who has better reaction time. So it's just really interesting because we haven't seen Zeno messing anything up. So as is just banking on the fact that maybe his reaction speed is a little bit faster. Yeah, we'll see though. Gets a hard angle on that big opportunity for Zeno, uh, but gets that good at DOS. Yeah. Black comes yeah. in, yeah. Just I mean, Zeno back. working with a lot of meter. Atsushi just barely returning the ball, and then that time finally gonna get a max charge shot. But Zeno's just looking in control on grass here. Definitely. This is incredibly insane. Oh, yeah. wow. The Loom is very offside, so if he goes straight down the line, it'll be very hard, yep. Very hard for Loom to get it. Yeah, uses up that meter, try to put him in position, but he's uh, gonna lose that meter there. Ooh. Wow. Uh, I guess didn't click it in time or something. Yeah, it was late input. It's really hard on overhead smashes to side trick them because they come out so fast. It's probably past you in like four frames. Right. Especially on grass, too. On grass, everything is just so fast. Okay, like everything is a split second decision. Right. Drop shot comes in. Ooh, that's like the first zone shot I've seen pretty much all day. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's just trying anything to score right now. Oh, the back trick comes yeah. in, though. I mean, it's trick. burning up a lot of meter, though, from Atsushi. I don't yeah. agree with that zone shot at that particular moment. And now it looks like Zeno looking really nice to potentially take this. He's got a lot of meter lead, and Atsushi is in the red. If he gets uh, the opportunity to get a special shot in, I feel like that could be another point. Just like right now. Okay, never yeah, mind. Yeah, he's going to drain a little bit more. One more. There we go. Yeah. Zeno is a very smart and calculated player. Like, he knows exactly what he's doing. If he has an opportunity to drain just a little bit more meter, he's going to go for it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I mean, still a lot of uh, meter for Zeno and Asushi yeah. barely keeping up. Yeah, big angle. Wow. He's just draining meter back and forth, back and forth. Gets a fully charged lob. Yeah, another fully charged lob, though. Just uh, gives us enough time to bring it back around and get Zeno back in position. Gets another trick shot and a perfect trick. One more potentially. That's probably going to be a nice overhead. Wow. And he gets the block, though, but a zone speed on the Huge. other side. Huge. 6 0 right here. Match point, championship point right here. They've been in a lot of online tournaments. They've been grinding the ranks. And now this is the last spot. Oh. And he just goes through around. And finally, Asushi gets a point there and some meter to work. At least he didn't go down on a bagel. That's, that's the important part. Zeno just playing it out. He had an opportunity to win there with the special, but decided not to take it. And you can feel, of course, in the game, the heartbeats come in. Wow, the flat comes that in, and the fun. last special, potentially, of this match here. Let's wow. see if Atsushi can bring this back around, but the hard angle comes in. That's going to be it, and Zeno takes Mario Tennis Aces here at Heart of Battle. The Japanese invade and they take it over NA here. That was just some incredible gameplay. Like, I've learned a lot from the meta just from watching these two players. Um, two very different play styles. They're both incredibly strong. Um, and so, yeah, congratulations to both the players. Congratulations to Zeno for winning. Um, congratulations to Atsushi for just pushing it all the way to second place. Yeah. Um, very I mean, impressive. That's it. I mean, that is your top six here at Heart of Battle. I mean, if we do do more um, Mario Tennis Aces offlines in the future, we hope that we're going to get a lot more invaders, potentially from Europe. Mm -hmm. Of course, EU is a very strong scene in the Aces community as Definitely. well. Like one of, Some of our top three and a lot of our top ten are European, so something to consider as well. But 
NA, we had some great sets, Japanese. We saw a little bit of steamroll, but uh, great uh, work all around from all the players. No, here for today. sure, definitely. Yeah. The Japanese were just like insane. So it was really fun to be able to play with them. And we're just so grateful that they were able to come and uh, hang out with us. So just had a great time all around. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, they're getting an award ceremony started. Uh, I don't think we have the cameras to quite film that, so are we gonna... What are we doing? <laughs> I'm not sure. Our stream runner is removing the camera, I think, and we're gonna do the award ceremony, and Princess Peach is gonna crown our winners right here, and we got <laughs> Zeno winning MTA right here. Amazing stuff. Well deserved. Showed no signs of hesitation and absolutely indo or indomitable play coming from him. For sure. I feel like we're going to see a lot more Luigi's on the ladder after <laughs> seeing this. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, he won with Luigi. I mean, we didn't have Boom Boom available today. He was like, okay, we'll just go Luigi. I mean, he's not a, not a He's a Luigi good, main anyway. Yeah, not a good so. character by any means stretch of imagination, but still, like, Zeno as a number one player, just shows that we're, he's able to do that. Definitely. All right. Need to take a couple more pictures. Looks like they're getting the social media down. We finished uh, relatively early. Uh, Arms is going to be starting at four, so we got a little bit of downtime. They're just finishing up the brackets. So we'll see how that goes. OK. I'm being summoned for Arms. Let me, one second. Alrighty, guys. So that is your tournament for today. Thank yeah. you, good show, for commentating with me. Thank you so much for allowing me to have this opportunity. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be switching around to arms. We're just going to finish up the brackets, get everything ready. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to follow us on Twitter down below if you so wish. And thanks so much, guys. So we're going to cut it to some ads and uh, get arms ready for you guys, okay? All right. Thank you so much.
Ringman. 